Hey all, welcome back to the Fire and Water Cooking Channel. No CB today, we're just gonna make some tasty hot dogs. And these are regional hot dogs from where I grew up in upstate New York. And uh, I, I grew up right in between Rochester and Syracuse in upstate right off Lake Ontario. And both of them had their own iconic hot dogs. And uh, we're gonna try out today one from each area. Zweigel's has got, uh, their hot dogs are from Rochester. And that's kind of what I grew up on. For some reason, we were a little closer to Rochester. We had family there, and that's what we grew up on. They both have Texas Red Hot brand and white hot dogs, which seems to be an upstate New York thing. And then Hoffman's was over in Syracuse, and they have both a German uh, brand and their Snappy Grillers, which is a white hot. We're going to try them out. I'll be right back. Smoking, grilling, getting hot. Hotter, sous vide and chillin from fire and water. All right, guys. So, like I said, you know, I grew up like right in between these two cities, but most of the stuff that we grew up on kind of uh, came from Rochester because we had family there. We traveled there a lot more often, and it just seems that a lot of people that lived in my small uh, hometown worked in Rochester, so a lot of the stuff from Rochester kind of carried over. Even though Syracuse was about the same distance away, it doesn't really, uh, that didn't get a lot of stuff from Syracuse, except for the salt potatoes. So today we're gonna take the uh, two very similar, uh, or actually four very similar types of hot dog. The uh, Zweigels, their pop-open Texas Red Hots is a red hot dog and um, they're all, all these are natural casing, so they, they've got um, natural hog casings on them. The Red Hot and the White Hots, White Hots more like a bratwurst. If you've seen some of my other videos, you'll know what they are. But Hoffman's is from Syracuse, and they both started about the same time. Actually, Zweigel says they, they started in 1880, and then Hoffman's, I guess to one-up them, said they started in 1879. So, uh, you know, I guess, I don't know if they both started at the same time, or one of them wanted to up the other and say, yeah, we started a year earlier, but they're both from around the same area, both started around the same time, both have very similar stuff, and we're gonna put it to the test. You know, I like I said, I grew up with Zweigel, Zweigel, Zweigel's is probably my number one hot dog because it's so much different than anything else out there, any national brand, any, uh, even like Nathan's, even the, you know, like Oscar Mayer hot dogs or any of the other uh, national name brands. I just never really like them. They don't compare to these uh, homegrown hot dogs to me. So we're going to cook them up and we're going to try them. I'm actually going to have my daughter help me out and uh, just do a taste test. See which one she prefers if she likes either one of them. I'll be right back. Oh, so, all right, guys. Here we go. I uh, just want to give you a little closer look here and what we got going on. Okay, so on this side, we have the Zweigels. This is their Texas Red Hot right here, both of these. And this is their pop open white hots right here. And this is the, the uh, Hoffman's Snappy Griller here, and that's their white hot dog. And their German style Frank here, that is their, you know, similar to their red, to the red of the Zweigels here. And as you can tell, the uh, Hoffman's are a little bit longer and skinnier, where the Zweigels, they're, um, you know, historically shorter and fatter, kind of like me. For when I finish mine, I'm either going to use the, um, this is called mustard relish, where it's pretty much a spicy mustard and relish mixed together. Uh, Goldens or any kind of spicy mustard. I think Hoffman's and Zweigel's both make their own kind of spicy mustard, but they're very similar to Goldens. Zweigel's also makes a hot dog sauce, which is more like a ketchup and relish, onion type thing mixed together. And then of course you got regular relish here as well. If you'll notice, I don't have any ketchup on here because, you know, usually uh, ketchup is a sin to put on a hot dog. Uh, there's places that do, but my wife actually puts hot dog, uh, actually ketchup and mayonnaise on them, which um, is a total mortal sin, but I love her anyway. So let's get these on. I'm going to cook them on my flat top, and they're going to pop open, and I'll show you that too when I come back. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So I'll put these on my flat top, nice and hot. Uh, as you can tell, these are getting a nice caramelization to them, getting that nice char that I like. And what'll happen here is once these start getting cooking and the internal uh, temperature comes up, the 
the uh, casing will actually shrink and as you can tell they start to pop open. That's why the Zweigels are called pop opens because the casing shrinks, the uh, moisture in the uh, uh, hot dog expands and they pop open. All right guys, here's my daughter Rachel. Say hello Rachel. Hi. We should say hello Rachel. All right, she doesn't like any of this condiment stuff so I'm going to let her just take a bite of uh, one of each just to see if she has a preference one over the other. Here's our Hoffman German. Take take a bite. Hoffman German dog. How you like that? Has it got a snap to it? No snap to it when you bit into it? No? Hmm. Alright, go ahead for the, Z the Zweigel Texas Hot. That one has snap. Has, that's a nicer snap to it. No. Maybe the natural casing on that one's a little thicker. All right, and swallow, clear your palate. Now this is the Hoffman's Snappy Griller, white hot. Does that got a little bit of snap to it? It's a little bit better than the uh, German Frank. Okay, how's the taste on that one? Does it taste different than the red ones? Yeah. All right, now the final, the Zweigel White Hot. I don't like you don't like that one? <laughs> Compared to that one, what do you like? What do you mean? Well, do you, did you like that one, or do they both taste similar or the same? I like that one. You're not my daughter, so. All right, take off. <laughs> Her opinion doesn't count because she actually picked the wrong one, guys. So I'll be back. I'm going to put some condiments on these, and I'll give you my opinion just to see if she was right or wrong. Well, all right, guys, that just goes to show you, you can't pay your children to uh, lie for you. So <laughs> now we're going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and try these. So um, like I said, she's actually never had the uh, Hoffman's before. She's had plenty of Zweigel's. She's just never been big on the White Hots because they do. They have a different flavor. They really don't taste much like a, a regular hot dog. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and taste them plain as well. Just so I don't have any of the condiments actually blocking the uh, flavor so I'm gonna go ahead and try the Hoffman German it does got a snap to it um very mild flavor they're not um, heavy in spice but tastes good I mean I can't say that it tastes bad that's for sure but um, it's not as stout as the Zweigel's, but we'll go ahead and take a bite of the Zweigel, just to make sure. Mm -hmm. Now, she was correct. The Zweigel Texas Hot has more of a snap to it. I guess the casing's kind of thicker on it, but you do have a, a tougher bite through on that. Which is what I really like about them is that they got that really nice bite through and they're plumper. So they are a little shorter but they're plumper so you feel like you're getting more. But both of those are very similar tasting um, as far as that goes. It's more of a texture thing, uh, you know, to me. So I don't think it would go wrong with either one of those. I'm going to try the uh, Snappy Griller from Hoffman's which is their White Hot. Casing is very similar to the German. Has a nice um, snap to it, just not as snappy as that. So it seems like it's a thinner casing. Um, the, the the flavor is very similar to the the White Hot from what I had in the past. So I would say, you know, the as far as the seasonings go, they're very similar seasonings. Let's try the Zweigel White. Mm -hmm. Again, thicker casing on that, and it's a overall thicker um, sausage. Very similar tasting. I'd be hard pressed if somebody were to feed me one of these um, blind taste tests without knowing um, which one was which. I'd be able to tell because of the casing. The flavor is actually very similar, so. I think you'll be a winner if you eat any of these guys. So uh, I'm not really putting anything to bed here. 
I just wanted to do this kind of on my own because I grew up eating Zweigels. Syracuse always loved their Hoffmans. And I just tell you that either one of these is going to be great. Just don't put ketchup on them, <laughs> whatever you do. But thanks for watching, guys. And try them out on your own. If you can get some Zweigels in your area, you can find them online at Zweigels.com. Hoffman's, I know they're starting to sell those nationwide now as well, but you can find them on their website as well, Hoffman's.com, I think it is. Try them out. Try White Hot if you've never had one before. It's totally different. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on uh, the next Fire and Water Cooking video. See you on my Facebook page. Make sure you follow the Fire and Water Cooking podcast. New episodes will be coming down the road soon. I've been had to take some hiatus for a while, but... I'm going to go ahead and finish these up with a little bit of the mustard relish. I'll be back next video. Mm -hmm.